I'm Haley. I gotta say, I am just about to burst with excitement. <laughs> it's that time of year. You know, presents are being wrapped, people are singing songs on the street corner, everyone around me is so jolly. It's the one time of year I can even get away with using the word jolly. I don't have to tell you what time of year it is. Christmas is celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. You see, it's all about celebrating. And one of the ways I like to celebrate is by decorating! There's only one thing missing. Hmm. Yee! Yay! They say the Christmas lights are bright at Christmas, at Christmas. Oh my, um, hmm. <laughs> Whoa, well, this is a mess. <laughs> How did this happen? The lights were untangled when I put them in the box last year. Are they moving around in there? Oh, I'll never be able to untangle all of this. This is impossible. Uh, well, suddenly, I don't feel like celebrating anymore. Isn't it strange how sometimes you feel like celebrating and then something happens that makes celebrating impossible? Well, in today's story, you'll see how there's always some reason to celebrate, even when things seem impossible. Hey, maybe I can use these lights the way they are. Yeah, yeah. E earrings, earrings, maybe? Hey, you ready for the Christmas photo? I am. I, right. I just keep feeling like we're forgetting something. Kellen! Oh. We gotta have Kellen in the picture. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I got it. What? We'll uh, just leave some space in between us, oh. and then we can put them in later. That's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that should do it, yeah? Okay, here we go. Yeah. One, two, three. Show and Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! As you can see, we're ready to celebrate the big day and the entire Christmas season all month long. Yeah, some of us are more ready than others, Brandon. <laughs> that is true. John here has gone above and beyond preparing this year. Yeah, in my opinion, nothing says Merry Christmas and Jesus is born quite like 25,000 twinkling Christmas lights. Wait, wait, there are 25,000 Christmas lights oh, here? Oh yeah, and I'm ready to light them all up and let the Christmas celebration begin! All right, well, I guess uh, without further ado, yeah. uh, do you want me to do a drum roll or something? Oh, that'd be great. Okay, uh, That's half decent. Here we go. Three, two, one, boom! Are they supposed to? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Wait, oh, uh, the plug was up there. Okay, right. ready? Three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one. Come on. Three, two, one. Three. Uh, uh. Okay. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to shake them like that. I don't understand. They were just working earlier. Well, I can picture it in my mind, and it's breathtaking. Oh. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's probably a bad bulb. If one goes out, you know, the whole thing doesn't work. Yeah, I guess I'll just need to check each and every one of them. Oh, good idea. Hey, if you need any help, I'll be here doing the show. I appreciate that. Sure thing. Hey, why don't we do a little quiz? I can't do a quiz. I'm checking the bulbs. No, I was talking to them. Oh, right. So get ready to challenge your friends, challenge your neighbors, or just challenge yourself. It's time to play How Bright Are Your Lights? Challenge these lights. How bright are your lights? Here's how it works. I'll ask you a holiday-themed trivia question, true, false, and it's up to you to shout out the answer from wherever you are. This machine here will measure all of your responses. Green light for true, red light for false. If most of you get the right answer, I will eat a bite of John's Aunt Margaret's 
24-year-old fruitcake. Hey, I was saving that. For what? I don't know. Here we go. First question. <clears throat> Thomas Edison invented electric Christmas tree lights. Is that true or false? Shout out your answers. All right, we got some trues, we got some falses. Where is it gonna land? Uh -huh. All right, time's up. It looks like most of you picked true, and the answer is... Oh, can I say? Can I say? Uh, sure, go right ahead. The answer is true. He did it in New York City. Correct. <laughs> in 1882, Edison decorated a Christmas tree in New York City with 80 blinking red, white, and blue electric lights. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you have to eat the fruitcake. Uh, you gotta yeah. eat the fruitcake. I cake. thought you were testing lights. Right. I... Oh, man, I lost my place. <laughs> Here we go. Hmm. Next question. <clears throat> Christmas lights can be powered by electric eels. Is that true or false? Shout it out now. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm hearing, I'm seeing some things. All right, and time is up, and it looks like most of you said false, and the correct answer is true. Uh... You missed that one. The Enoshima Aquarium in Japan powers their Christmas lights with electric eels. And they can produce up to 800 watts of electricity. Whoa, I escaped the cake. That's great. Question three. 20 million pounds of Christmas lights are recycled every year. True or false? You got a guess, John? Uh, don't talk to me, I don't want to lose my place. Okie dokie, let's hear your answers, go. Well, they think, oh, okay, and the majority of you think that it is true, and the answer is true. <laughs> Over 20 million pounds of lights are shipped to Shijiao, China every year to be recycled into new Christmas lights or other products such as furniture, ornaments, or slippers. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to wear slippers made out of Christmas lights. Yeah, it does seem like a strange thing to make. Yeah. Hey, I thought you didn't want us to talk to you. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Yeah. Oh. No. I, I like how it stains mm -hmm. things. I do not want another bite of that, okay? Get this one wrong. Ugh. You're missing out. Last question. In San Diego, California, if lights are kept up past February 2nd, homeowners are subject to jail time. True or false? Well, whoever made these lights deserves jail time. I'm telling you that. <laughs> no! All right, shout out your final answers now. <laughs> okay, time is up. You say it's false, and the answer is... False! They don't throw you in jail for keeping your lights up in February, but there is a $250 fine, which I would gladly pay if I could avoid eating this fruitcake. But a deal's a deal. Okay. That is not good. Hmm. Huh. Thanks for playing, everybody. How's it going, John? Not well. <laughs> I don't know where I am. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, don't talk to John. He's checking Christmas lights. Uh, they're not working for some reason. Wow. He's got a lot of them. Oh, yeah, over 25,000. Well, why don't you take a break and help me tell today's Bible story? It's the story before the Christmas story. <laughs> why not? Well then, to the theater! There was a priest named Zechariah. I'm a priest, and I've been doing that a long 
long time. <laughs> and his wife, Elizabeth. I'm his wife, and I've been doing that an even longer time. <laughs> they loved and served God faithfully for many years, but had been unable to have children. Oh, dear God, thank you for the many blessings you've poured out on us. We are truly grateful. Truly grateful. But even though we are now old, we would still like to have a child. I have a rattle and everything. Mm, 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 mm. One day, Zechariah was chosen to go into the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem. His job was to burn incense as a way to honor God. Mmm, nothing like the smell of burning incense. <laughs> While he was there, an angel appeared. Zachariah! Ooh! Oh, stay back! <laughs> I've got this burning ball of sweet smell, and I'm not afraid to use it. Do not be afraid, Zachariah. Hmm? Do not be afraid. <laughs> You disappeared out of nowhere. Who are you anyway? I am Gabriel, and I am here to tell you God has heard your prayers. Oh? Huh? Which prayer are you talking about? The one about the donkey? He's doing much better now. <laughs> your wife, Elizabeth, will have a child. Say what? It will be a boy, and you must call him John. He will be a joy and delight to you. Hmm. He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God, and he will prepare the way for the Lord. <laughs> oh, come on! We can have a baby, we're too old! <laughs> Who put you up to this? Was it Meshach? I mean, oh, no, maybe it was Uz. Uz? <laughs> oh, no. I have been sent by God oh. to speak to you and tell you this good news, but because you did not believe my words, you will be unable to speak until after John is born. Zechariah returned home to Elizabeth, still unable to speak. You're saying, I have big news. Oh, really, I do too. I'm going to have a baby. Oh, oh. You're saying, I know. An angel told me. Really? After a few months, or nine, Elizabeth had her baby. You know, all the neighbors think we should call you Zachariah Jr. after your papa. My Aunt Gertrude wanted your name to be Ezekiel. They call you EZ for short. My dad thought it should be Bob. No, John! His name will be John! I know, that's what I told them. Oh, thank you, thank you. Wait, I can talk. I can talk! Yeah! I don't need your flags. Get out of my hands. Once again, God proved he can do anything. Zachariah and Elizabeth were blessed with a child in their old age a baby who would grow up to be known as John the Baptist. And God had a very special job for John. John would help introduce his cousin, Jesus, to the world, and he would announce God's plan to rescue his people. The end. Or, technically, the beginning. Now that's a way to start off a celebration. God knows how to set the scene for his story. I'll say, thanks, Kellen. See ya. Catch you later. You know, John, it's amazing when you really think about the fact that there is nothing God can't do. I mean, he can do things that we think are impossible. There's a reason to celebrate God every day, don't you think? Yes, I do. I'm just celebrating on the inside. Oh, good to hear. Reveal the question. What are some things you celebrate? Oh, well, there's uh, birthdays. Uh, half birthdays, A test days. What's an A test day? You know, when you get an A on a test. Oh. <laughs> Happened twice at my house. My, my sister's really smart. Or it doesn't have to be a day. You can celebrate when you do well at a soccer game or when you finally finish putting away the dishes. Or, or when God does something really amazing in your life. Yeah. 
Are you really going to check every single box? Well, what else can I do, well, Brandon? I don't know. Have you, did you check to make sure the extension cord was plugged into the wall? <laughs> Do you think I'd really check all of these bulbs if I wasn't sure the extension cord wasn't plugged into the wall? <laughs> I'm going to go check the extension cord. <laughs> I forgot to plug in the extension cord. <laughs> so, let's try this again. All right, you want me to do the drum roll? No, 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 that's fine. Don't try so hard. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! Wow! Oh. Yes! Wow, these really are amazing! Yeah? Oh, you haven't seen the half of it. There's more? Oh! Oh, you know, I, I think maybe that's a little too much. Really? Yeah, yeah, maybe just a little. Wow. Oh. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll see you next week for a brand new show uh, all about celebrating Christmas. Yeah, I, I hope we'll see you then. My eyes are starting to hurt. Hey, guys! So, I'm here for the Christmas photo shoot. Guys? John? Brandon? Guess I could do the photos myself. <laughs> All right, here we go in three, two, one. As I was thinking about today's story, an idea occurred to me. One thing I can celebrate today. So Zechariah and Elizabeth were too old to have children. It was impossible, but God made it happen. They had John who would grow up to introduce his cousin, Jesus, to the world. Nothing is impossible for God. He can do anything. Here's why that's worth celebrating. There are things in our lives that seem impossible. Could be a tough subject at school, could be a problem you're having at home, or a disagreement you're having with a friend. Your problem could be so bad, you think you'll never be able to untangle it. But if God is able to give life, then he's able to give you knowledge and wisdom to get through that tough subject in school. If God is powerful enough to control the weather, then he's powerful enough to help you weather any storms that come your way. And if God can bring peace to the whole world through the sacrifice of his son, then he can bring peace to your life and in your relationships. God can do anything. So here's the one thing to remember today. Celebrate because God can do anything. I'm not sure if God will physically come down here and do something about my uh, problem, but if he can create the universe from nothing, then I believe that he can give me the patience, determination, and creativity I need to untangle these lights. Hmm. And that makes me want to celebrate. Yay! Merry Christmas! <sighs> Here goes. See you next time. in the world.